So following the hit movies, America's favorite foul mouth teddy bear is back. This time Ted is tackling the small screen where we get to see how the unique friendship between him and John, played by Max Burkholder, began. Take a look. Look, you have trouble taking off her bra. She's going to know you're a virgin. Jesus Christ, Teddy, just let me do the clasp. Oh, no, you got to earn it. All right, now let's pretend you're a Randy executive and I'm your secretary. Go. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bennett, control yourself. For heaven's sakes, Mr. Bennett, you're a married man. Teddy, come on. Who's Teddy? I'm Deborah. I just moved to the big city with nothing but a suitcase full of dreams and an associate's degree from Katherine Gibbs. Uh, hi. What the hell are you doing in my bra? <laughs> okay, and Max joins me now. Welcome, Max. That's like a good little, little, little teaser of little what we've That's actually show. where I learned to take off a bra. Yeah, <laughs> last year I'm 26. <laughs> It's about this, time. This is a prequel yeah. taking place in 1993. You play the younger version of Mark Wahlberg's yes. character. So where does kind of the, the relationship of ten, Ted and John, where are they now when we pick up the show? Where are they now? I think in the movies we see them and John is just like so far gone. Both of them are degenerates. They're still degenerates in this show and they're stupid, yeah. but the corruption of John by Ted hasn't fully taken place right. yet. That's what I was going to yeah. say. It's just the beginning of their degeneracy. Yeah, there's like time to put spin on this ball, but nobody <laughs> really does. Right, but you, you've worked with Seth MacFarlane before. I mean, a lot yeah. actually, because you voiced uh, voices for the Cleveland Show, Family Guy, yeah. American Dad, but how did this project come to you? Just call you and say, let's do the prequel to Ted? No, I wish, that would be cool. But yeah. uh, no, no, same as, you you know, any other project, I sent in a tape. I, you know, taped myself doing the audition, sent yeah. it in. And uh, it was kind of distressing because I didn't really hear anything for like a month and a half. Yeah. And then I got the call from Seth. His number wasn't actually in my phone, so I picked it up. I was super indignant. I was like, uh, who is this? Yeah. And he was like, it's... It's Seth. He's do you like, want to do perfect. the show? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we see, you know, we obviously we know that Ted is a pretty lousy influence on John. 100%. But, you know, there's, I watched the first two episodes of this. There's a lot of sweet moments between the two of you, too. Do you think that's kind of why this crazy concept works because of their relationship? Yeah, 100%. Like, if Ted didn't have these loving relationships with people, he would kind of just be an irredeemable sort of almost villain character just yes. mischief and trouble wherever he goes but it's the it's the love between Ted and John and between Ted and the rest of the yeah. family that really grounds the whole thing. Yeah, for sure. I feel that too. Um, but I'm so curious like how this works because we see these scenes, yeah. you're talking to a bear, we know that there are no talking bears. So is there anything there with you or are you just by yourself? No, it's, it's empty space. I'm really? looking at nothing. Luckily, Seth is right there like on the other side of the room off camera doing the lines in real time. Yeah. Which made it easy to like hit the timing that we needed to hit. But but like in that clip just there that we saw, I'm diving through the air Nobody. at nothing and just, <laughs> I look like a crazy person just like darting around a room and well, imagining. Well, you do it well. Thank you, you do very it well. much. We got to just mention Parenthood because, yes. you know, that's a show that fans are, would love to see a sequel for. And the creator recently said that he would be interested in seeing kind of what the next generation is doing. You, obviously. Yes. Is this something that you would ever want to return to? I mean... Max Braverman is such a special character for me. Like, I grew up doing that part. I yeah. think I started when I was 10, and it finished when I was 17, about to graduate high school. God. So any excuse to return to that world and to return to that character, I think, would be just tremendous. I would love it so much. Yeah, so would the fans. So that may happen. We'll see. And you can catch all episodes of TED when it premieres January 11th, only on Peacock. Peacock. Max, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah.